I'm Emily Henshaw. I recently retired from the United States Army um, two months ago. Don't know much about writing, but I want to write my story. I'm a veteran of the United States Marine Corps and the mother of an Iraqi freedom veteran, and I'm here to write stories. I was in the United States Navy. I think I have a very important story that I want to tell, and so I'm learning how to write. I came to the first meeting, and I said, OK, this feels like home. Because it is a group of uh, veterans from all eras. We have a couple family members. We all have shared experiences. So I just felt like this is where I need to be, and I want to see this continue to grow. Writing-wise, it's really rewarding because some of them are writing about their experiences in the military, but like all people, when you reach a certain age, you have many stories to tell. It's been about 15 minutes of active writing. Depending on which of these activities you choose, you might want to share uh, the new writing that comes out of it in the next 20 minutes or so. Um, the funny thing so about writing is you don't realize how personal it is until you start writing. We all grew up a lot just by being in the military, but just having that common experience, not only through writing, but just everything. If you've <laughs> spoken with veterans, I think when you find another veteran, you just like have this instant bond, and so it just feels very safe. <laughs> we divide into smaller groups and take turns sharing. It's kind of become a little bit of a coffee clatch in addition to writing. We have a, a tendency to sort of create this, this facade that um, allows us to kind of get through the world. And we all sort of harbor vulnerabilities and, and stories inside that don't always um, get told to the outside. I am writing a story about um, basically, I call it moral injury, but it's my, uh, my son's story of going through Iraq and coming back and what our family went through as he transitioned back and um, became what we call a disabled veteran. I started thinking about what happened with my son, visiting his friends that were killed in action. He had 11 friends that were killed over there. Um, and just how it made me feel being a veteran myself. This is my healing place. This is my place where I feel safe and I can let down my hair and we can laugh and cry and have fun. What day is it today? This question infuriated me on every occasion. I lay motionless in bed, my head feeling so enormous and heavy, confused why anyone would make such an odd request. The sort of absurdity of the question, which one, you know, obviously they're trying to, you know, yeah. make certain now I know it's a diagnostic judgments, ask, but right? It but it seems mad. so yeah. ridiculous considering the urgency of the issue. Like, mm -hmm. why are you asking me this question? I should probably expand on that. What we have here is actually peer support. This writing, because we're other military people connected, and the peer support aspect is the therapeutic part for me. Advocating for and helping my son and those out there like him has become my passion and my life's work. You could sort of develop in parallel your story and your son's story in a way that both brings you together. The process of writing, whether or not the writing actually winds up being published or whether it winds up being um, something that other people experience, it, the act of writing is an act of therapy. It's often referred to as sort of like getting the toxins out or getting the poison out, sort of um, those things that we tend to push down. I've tried to talk to my mom about it, but then she always wants to ask me more questions about my story than I'm ready to tell yet. And everyone here seems very supportive of the writing, and they're... I find that when I come here and I read something, the feedback I'm getting is about the writing. And so your anger, it just continues to go on in waves. And I get that from what you wrote. Maybe through the writing, I'll become more comfortable with, and it will be my way of sharing the whole story with my family. It's very healing for us to work together here and share some of these stories with each other. Whether we're blood family or not, we're all family.